can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> demonstrating. Hey, singers. Today, I'm so excited because we're starting a brand new series with the legendary 10-time Grammy-winning group, Take Six. We are champions. We can see anything that will become good in London. Oh, yeah. And we can stand strong. Somebody say, Somebody sing. Hello, hello, hello. Somebody say, Somebody cry. Why, why, why? Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. Hey, we didn't know you were here. <laughs> it's good to see you. When did you come in? I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a video star. I guess so. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll start off with a great place to start with any kind of sound that we make. Breathing. What do you guys think of? Is it just so natural you don't even have to think about breathing? Or is it something intentional for you when you breathe to sing? Well, why don't I jump out there? Yeah, um, yeah breathing for us actually is very important. Um, over the years, uh, we've learned that there are times that we need to make sure that we have the support and the sustain. Because in the arranging, I'm, you know, the primary arranger for the group. I actually arrange sometimes that we have to hold notes for a very long time. <laughs> and um, um, that only he can actually hold. Yeah. Oh, he's the only yeah, one yeah, that can yeah. do it. Oh no 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 no. Six oh, minutes. No, no, we we've learned that you know when you first try to hold out a note and you're nervous, you you don't have that much sustaining. But after you relax and you realize that you know you actually do have the capacity to hold the note, we're able to do it. Now, obviously, it's a lot easier for the, the top voices to do it than the bottom voices because they need more air, but, you know. Do you have an example of one of these cruel and unusual notes that you've written for the group? Well, well, even before we go there, one of the things that I realized when I got in the group that I guess my vocal cords had a little bit more nodule on them, so I had more space so that when I make sound, more air flows through anyway. And I was like, Mark, there's no way possible I can do some of the sustains that you have written into the arrangement. <clears throat> so then I had to learn how to sort of change certain things. So there's something about the folds and how they close. It's exactly. not just the air, it's also how yeah. it gets resisted. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I think the, one of the best examples of that is actually a song that I did not arrange, mm. but uh, our former member Cedric Dent arranged and it, it's called, um, um, a few more miles. And the beginning of that get, has us ha holding a note for a very, very long time. And um, that's, that would be a good example to start with. Yeah. Uh, we won't go through the whole song because, you know, it's watch some, what we do though. It's some, <laughs> it sometimes can be emotional and, you know, watch out for this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Put the camera on me. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do this. Uh, it's uh, actually. I believe. That sounds close enough. Yeah. I start the song here and I take my time. I make sure I take a long time just to see how far these guys can go. By this time, everybody has shown you. He is so not right. <laughs> that was wrong. Here's the funny thing. We had no idea how long we were supposed to hold it because he's not singing. Exactly. <laughs> but, what that, but what that just showed is that at the time when first Claude actually gave up. Um, <laughs> But KD hadn't started singing started yet. That was the yet. one thing, because his part doesn't come in. Right. But Mark was singing the whole time and still hadn't breathed. Mm. <laughs> He's still not breathing now. He's probably has yeah. some type of He's eyelid circular breathing, breathing technique. Anyway. 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 Looking at his watch. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like an example of, of one of the long holds that we do sometimes. Oh, it's fantastic. Well, yeah. I will say this, too. Um, a lot of the times when I, we get tracks from Mark to record, and I'm recording my part, 
and I'm, I called him one day and I asked him, bro, did you like, like, like cut or did you splice or, cause there's no way you held this note this long. Yeah. And so what he was talking about was just basically relaxing. Mm. I was, I, you know, just giving out all of my air cause my, my heart is beating and all this kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm looking at this line and I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. So once I learned to relax and uh, somebody was saying, I can't remember who, who it was, but they're like, like blowing up a balloon and letting the air out a little bit at a time. Yeah. I think that was Claude McKnight who just raised his hand yeah. to affirm. So but be yeah. really conservative, especially That's at the it. beginning. Exactly. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so once I get over that first hump, then I recognize that, yo, I can actually, I get it. I still, I still, it's still a work in progress, especially live, because we can do one thing in the studio. Yes. Live is a whole different whole thing. Different ball game. Yeah. And, and the practice I would, I would think is uh, one time I remember at the beginning of uh, my history with the group, Mark said you got to control the amount of air that you release. Kind of what Christian is saying. Resistance. But I, I couldn't understand how to do that because, like I said. I hadn't really healed the cords yet, so at that point, I couldn't do it. Yeah, and your cords are healed now, would you say? They're a little bit more. Better. You okay. know, depending on, you know, for instance, even, for instance, if I catch a cold or something, that just happens to me. Yeah. <laughs>